I am going to solve this second sample problem 217 from the 3D resultant topic. In this sample, sample problem it is said they determine the resultant of the system of parallel forces right which act on a plate so it is said that solve with a vector approach right so we have these uh, parallel forces right so first we need to find the resultant of all these forces and the resulting the resultant couple due to these two for these all forces right so first we will apply this formula again so our resultant will be equal to r x vector plus r y plus r j right uh, R Z sorry right so I will write R Z so then R X will be equal to the summation of all forces along X so as we can see this is the positive X this is positive Y and this is positive Z right since all the forces are acting along the Y axis so the summation of all forces along X is 0 right so the R X component of the resultant is 0 similarly rz will also be equal to zero as all the forces are acting along the y axis so the summation of all forces along z is equal to zero so to find ry we will write ry and we will take the summation of all forces along y right so we will write that ry is equal to this 500 newton is acting along the positive y so i will write plus 500 this 300 newton is acting along negative y so i will write minus 300 this one is along positive y so i will write plus 200 and this one is along the negative y so i will write minus 50 so when i solve this so this gives me 350 magnitude and since all these are acting along the y direction so i will write j so this is 350 j so the resultant is equal to r y since r x component and r z component are zero right so this r resultant is equal to r y and this is 350 j right so this is the resultant vector right so now we will find the moment due to this result due to all these forces about this point o right so i will write that the moment about o will be equal to m x plus m y plus m z to find m x we will find all the moment of all those forces which are producing the moment about x right so i will write r cross f about x right so now as we can see that this 500 newton force is intersecting with the x axis is and since it is also passing through this point o so it will never produce any moment about the x axis is right and this 300 newton force this 300 newton force will produce the moment about x axis since this has some perpendicular distance from this x axis is right so i will put a tick mark here since this is producing the x axis uh, the moment about x axis is this 200 newton force is intersecting this x axis so this is not producing the moment about x this is not producing the moment about x and this 50 newton force is having some perpendicular distance from the x axis so it will produce the moment about x right so now as we can see that this 300 newton force is producing moment and the direction of that moment is like this right and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so our thumb will point out in the negative x direction so this means that this 300 newton force is producing clockwise moment if we look into this moment from this direction right so this is producing clockwise moment since the thumb direction is in the negative x right so if i write so i will write that 300 newton and the perpendicular distance of this 300 newton from this x is this 0.35 right so 0.35 and 0.35 so this distance so I will multiply this with 0.35 and I will write the thumb direction. So the thumb direction is in the negative i, right? So I will write minus i. And since this 50 Newton force is also producing the moment about the x-axis and the direction of that moment is in this direction. Let me draw that in this color, right? So this is producing the moment. And if I curl my right hand finger, so my thumb will point out in the positive 
x direction right so this will be my thumb direction so this is in the positive i so this 50 newton force is producing the moment in the counterclockwise direction so i will write plus and this will be 50 and the perpendicular distance of this 50 from this x axis is this much again this is 0.35 right so i will write point 35i right so we can take i and 0.35 common from these right so we can write it like this so minus 300 plus 50 into 0.35i right so if we find this using calculator so this will be minus 87.5i right so this is the x component of the moment about o now we will find the component of the moment along the y axis is right so since all these forces are parallel to the y axis so they will never pro uh, produce a moment about the y axis is right so the moment the component of the moment along y is equal to 0 newton meter right to find the moment about z again we will use the same equation so we will find all those forces which are producing moments about z axis is and we will find all those moments of all those forces and we will take the summation of all those forces along the so that will give us the moment about the z axis so now as we can see that this is the z axis is right this direction so this 500 newton force will not produce the moment about z axis since it is intersecting with the z axis this 300 newton force is not producing the moment about z axis it is intersecting with the z axis and the perpendicular distance of this 300 newton force from the z axis is, is zero similarly this 200 newton force this is producing the moment about z axis since it has some perpendicular distance from the z axis and also this 50 newton force is also producing the moment about the z axis so now if if i represent the direction of the moment produced by this 50 newton so then this will be the direction and if i curl my right hand fingers in this direction so this will be the direction of that moment in the negative z right so if i write so the moment about the z axis is will be equal to so it will be 50 into the perpendicular distance from the z axis so this is that perpendicular distance 0.5 so i will multiply this with 0.5 and the thumb direction is in the negative z so i will write minus k with it and then since this 200 newton force is also producing the moment about the z axis so the direction of the moment will be like this and again if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the negative z direction so this means that this 200 newton force is also producing the clockwise moment about z axis is right so this will be minus this will be 50 into uh, sorry 200 we are finding the moment of this 200 newton force right so this will be 200 and the perpendicular distance is again this 0.5 so i will multiply this with 0.5 and this is negative k right so this is negative k so the moment about the z axis is will be equal to so we can take 0.5 k is common right so then this will be minus 50 minus 200 into 0.5 k right so this will give us the moment about the z axis so this is minus 125 k so if i rep if i write the moment factor about o so then this will be equal to mx so mx is minus 87.5 i so this is mx and the my is 0 right so we can write that plus 0 j and minus 125 k right so this is the resultant moment at point o so this is that moment at point o in newton meters now we have this resultant and this moment so now we need to find the line of action of this resultant right so we do not know the point of application of this r right so in order to replace all these forces all these parallel forces which are acting along the y axis so in order to replace these forces by a single resultant force 
and which should produce the same moment right so we, what we will do we will find the point of application of that result so let's suppose if this is the point of application of this resultant which has a magnitude of 350 newton and which is acting along the positive j let's suppose if this is that resultant and so then we need to find this x and z values right so what we will do we will use this formula and we will take the cross product of the resultant with a moment arm vector which is unknown right so this moment arm vector is unknown so we will find this r vector right since we know the resultant vector this vector and we know this moment arm vector the uh, this moment about o vector so let's suppose if we say that this is our moment arm vector x i plus y j plus z k and we do not know x y and z the components of this r vector so we will take the cross product of this with this uh, resultant vector that is 350 j and this is equal to minus 87.5 i minus 125 minus 125 k we know this vector as well right so we will take the cross product and we will by equating each component we will find the x y and z components of this moment arm vector now if i represent this cross product in terms of a determinant right so i can write it like this so this will be uh, i j and k and this will be x y and z we do not know this x y and z components of the moment arm and the resultant is 0 and this is 350 j and this is 0 right and this is equal to the moment about o which we already know which is a minus 87.5 i minus 125 k and newton meters right so we have found this moment uh, moment about o vector right so now we will find this determinant and then we will use the equality and we will find the x y and z components of that moment arm vector right so if i take the cross product right so uh, this we will hide this row and this column so then this will be y into 0 0 and then 350 minus 350 z into i right then we will hide uh, this column and we will take the determinant of this so this becomes 0 so this is plus 0 j and then we will hide this uh, column and we will take the determinant and we will write plus and this will be 350 x and 0 y right so this is multiplied so this is minus 0 so we will write it with k right so if i equate this to this minus 87.5 i minus 125k so now we can compare by comparing this and this right so this is minus 350z i is equal to minus 87.5i so i will be cancelled out right and we can find the z component so z component will be minus will be cancelled out as well so this will be 87.5 divided by 350 right so this will give us the z component of the moment arm vector right so this z component comes out to be 0 0.250 meters now if i compare this uh, 350x and the k component with the k component right so we will be able to write that 350x is equal to minus 125 right so then x will be equal to minus 125 divided by 350 so when we solve this so we will get minus 0 0.357 so then we will be able to find the point of application of the resultant on this uh, 3d plate right so then the x distance is minus 0 0.357 so if this is the origin right so the coordinate of the point of action of this resultant is what are the coordinates so these are the coordinates so i can write that minus 0 0.357 the y coordinate is 0 and the z coordinate is 0 0.250 right so we will find these coordinates from this origin 
So then we will travel minus 0 0.357 along x. So this is the positive x. So then we will travel this much distance right along the x direction. So here will be that point and then we will travel positive distance along z right. So this was the arbitrary position right. So the actual position is here. So the resultant is acting at this particular position. So this distance will be along z axis and this distance will be 0 0.250 and this distance will be minus 0 0.357 and this point will be the application of that resultant. So if I represent that resultant, so this resultant will be acting parallel to the y axis is right. So if I draw it, so then this will be our resultant and this will be the point of application of this resultant. So as a result what we did is that we have replaced all these forces by a force couple system at this point O. Right, so this is that resultant and this is that moment. If we represent that moment vector, so that moment vector has two components. One one component is in the negative i direction. So this is in the negative i. This is its one component in the negative i. And then there is one another component in the negative k direction. So this is negative k. Right, so this is that MO representation at this point O. And then if you want to represent this resultant and this moment this force couple system by a single force so then what we will do we will use this formula and then we will find the coordinates of the point of application of the resultant right so these are the coordinates of the point of application of this resultant so we have replaced all these forces by a single resultant force and we have found the coordinates of this resultant